Every year, individuals, families, companies, and communities come together to provide support for our chapter's programs and services and to work towards finding a cure for ALS. I'd like to share with you the story of the commitment American Family Insurance has made to supporting the efforts of the ALS Association and how their contributions over the years have helped to make a difference. American Family Insurance is one of the largest companies, insurance companies in the nation. And what they have done for the ALS Association is to support us financially. They've also supported us through their time and talent of their employees. I think it was shortly after my brother Kevin was diagnosed with the disease, we decided, you know, kind of as a family, what started to do some type of fundraiser. With so many people knowing the Colquist and what Kevin was going through, I think everybody just wanted to hop on board and see what they could do. When he was diagnosed. It was a, it was a friend and a, an extension of our family, American family's family, that needed help. A couple of my close friends at the time were Gary Schroffnagel, who was the district manager of American Family Insurance, and Robbie Sandvik, who was an agent. Went to those guys right away and they said they wanted to get involved as friends. They wanted to get involved and volunteer and help. Start of an original dance that maybe raised $30,000 to a fishing tournament that now averages probably about 120, dollars 125000 a year. Myself and Gary Schroffnagel, we stepped on board and American Family uh, stepped on board right with us and it's been fantastic. I would describe it as a well-run machine. Yeah. Um, people just, they show up and they know exactly what to do, when to do, and how to do it. They make fishermen feel like they're guests in Duluth, right? I mean, it's the Cadillac of service. They do all the onloading and offloading. They add a lot of emotion by having patients there families there and that's helped I think make it um, stand on a bigger stage and be such a big event in Duluth and for that community up there too. It was our second year up there and um, Austin was selling raffle tickets for months ahead of time and we were, went to pick up the money at his office and I said we got two left in this book and should we just buy them and he said oh sure so you don't have to turn in two extra tickets bought them got there that night having a great time was joking around with the Kirby's Karen and Jerry and I said, I'm gonna win this. You guys just watch. And I kept saying it and they called my name and um, ran up there and said, absolutely, let's give it back and raise 12, 13,000 more dollars to donate. Because of American Family and other companies getting involved with the walleye tournament, grew the and started the Blackwoods Blizzard Tour. So it's been a long history and it was really built with good people. Wayne Johnson was a person who had been involved with our Duluth uh, fishing tournament and he moved to St. Cloud and when he moved to St. Cloud his wife Sherry became involved with the, our St. Cloud walk to defeat ALS and she not only had American Family Insurance form a walk team but they also became a sponsor of the walk to defeat ALS. Both Wayne and Sherry their goal is to help find a cure for ALS. Their goal is to help patients with ALS and to help families with ALS. Right when we first got involved, uh, Karen Kirby, a local district manager with American Family Insurance, her mother was diagnosed with ALS. And the doctor had you know, given us the diagnosis and, and after that, so many different people from different segments of, of help came in and talked with us. And Linda Lorenzen was one of them. So from day one, they were with us. And her mother used our chapter's programs and Karen felt that it was an organization she wanted to support so Karen became instrumental in asking American Family Insurance to become a sponsor at our Dinner of Champions. Having your mother-in-law have such a dreadful disease, you know, you wouldn't wish it on anybody. The few weeks prior to, to her going into hospice house, um, we were able to move her to the cabin she and my dad built um, 30 years prior, 40 years prior. So we're sitting down by the lake on what we call Grandma's deck, and I'm trying to envision what Ruth is going through the last month of her life. And I said, Ruth, don't you feel like you've been dealt just a terrible blow? I said, I, I know I would if I was in your shoes. And she's she looked at me, she looked at the sky, and she went, 
and it was unbelievable. And I take that memory with me to give back and just try and be a positive support to anybody because it's a terrible disease. The benefits have been to the patients, the dollars that we've been able to raise. Without events like the walleye tournament, those things wouldn't have been possible. The partnership has been outstanding. And to see the, how the organization actually makes an impact, whereas you're not just giving money and you don't see what happens, you see the, the results. You see what you're actually giving and working for and watching these patients progress. In their mission statement about helping people live lives to the fullest, that mirrors what American Family is all about with our Dreams Campaign, helping people live lives to the fullest. Today, the financial support from American Family Insurance Company has totaled nearly $200,000 in addition to their generous commitment of time and talent. The ALS Association, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota chapter, is proud to present the 2012 Champion of the Year to American Family Insurance and its employees. We are so grateful for all of their support. Thank you, American Family Insurance. Together we care, together we conquer.